Last November, I made myself this neat little sushi plate, and it's been holding up really nicely. Well, today I finally got around to making the chopsticks to go with it, and I also went ahead and made a neat little chopstick breast. So stick around. So the first thing I need to do is rip these boards to just under six inches wide. At the joiner, I'll go ahead and flatten one face on each board so that the two mating surfaces will come together and glue really nicely. You know you have a good joint when you go to pull the boards apart and you can actually feel the suction in between the two boards as you do it. Now with the other pieces gluing up, I can turn my attention to the chopstick rests. Now for those, I need to rip a thin strip of uh, cherry and we'll do that next with the table saw. I intentionally left the stock for these rests long because I plan on getting two rests out of this glued up chunk of wood. Now that I have this out of the clamps and the glue scraped off, I can go ahead and form a nice flat edge on one side of this board at the joint. With the second side ripped parallel to the first, I can go ahead and square up one end at the table saw and then cut these to final length. Now I need to take this block of wood and rip off some chopstick blanks. The next thing I need to do is rip this blank from end to end so that the glue line is actually at an angle from end to end as it goes down the chopstick. In order to create that angle, I took a scrap piece of wood and carpet taped it down to my table saw sled. Now I just need to rip these blanks to width and we can start shaping them. Now I'm going to take a template that I created that has the taper that I uh, want for my chopsticks. So I'm going to take this template and just place it over top of my blank and trace it out. With my blank and a vise, I'm going to use my hand plane and take it all the way down to the template line. I'm going to use really short strokes at the beginning and gradually increase the stroke length until I get all the way to the back of the chopstick. That way I'll get a nice gradual taper from end to end. So after tapering all four sides with the hand plane, I'm just gonna knock off all the corners with some sandpaper. So now that the chopsticks are essentially finished, we can turn our attention back to the rest that we started working on earlier. So I went ahead and took this out of the clamps and I scraped the glue off of one side and edge jointed it. And then I went ahead and ripped it to final width. Now I need to cut these to final length. I went ahead and traced out an hourglass shape for my rests. So I'll go ahead and cut these out now at the band side. Pure tongue oil should do the trick nicely. 
Thank you.